Aretha Franklin is reportedly gravely ill at a hospital in Detroit. Within minutes of the news breaking, celebrities took to Twitter to send their prayers to the Queen of Soul. Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier has more tonight from Los Angeles. Rick and Ruta Bay, Aretha Franklin is surrounded by friends and family as she reportedly continues to battle cancer. Now, E.T. has had the fortune of spending time with her throughout her career, including one of her last sit-down interviews. I'm doing very well, fabulously well. As the old folks say, I'm stepping right along. That was Franklin in our 2016 sit-down. Today, a family friend confirms to E.T. that Franklin is in Detroit, surrounded by those close to her. Mariah Carey tweeted, praying for the Queen of Soul. Franklin's reportedly been battling cancer and has battled back, refusing to be knocked out by her illness. Eight years ago, Aretha was denying cancer rumors, saying she had a tumor removed. What do you want to be most remembered for? For several things, certainly uh, the music and for my civic contributions and for my humanitarian contributions. In March, Franklin canceled two concerts scheduled in New Jersey and New Orleans. Her most recent performance was last November at the Elton John AIDS Foundation in New York. Franklin's contributions through her music continue to touch the masses. Along the way, she savored every moment of her decades-long career. Never take the music for granted. Aretha has sold over 75 million records worldwide. Rolling Stone named her the greatest singer of all time. And she was the first female performer to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I like being given respect and I like to give it. We'll have so much more tonight on E.T. I'm Kevin Frazier. Back to you. Well, we wish her the very best. It doesn't get any better than Aretha Franklin. You look for much more on the health of the music icon and the rest of the day's Hollywood headlines on Entertainment Tonight at 730 right after CBS 4 News at 7.